preview. May naghahanap doon sa atin sa may room. Asa na yung gustong kumausap sa atin? Baka naman niloloko tayo niyan. Sayang sa oras. Look nyo to, oh. May envelope sa table. Tara, buksan natin. What is this? Patingin nga. Ano to, Nancy? I don't know, pero ang sabi dito, hanapin daw yung five clues. Ano pang hinihintay natin? Let's go and find the clues. Wait! What if mag tayo para mas mahanap natin yung mga clues? Good idea, Chelsea. So let's divide our group and magkita-kita na lang tayo dito kapag may nahanap na kayo. Kami na magsama-sama ni na Nancy and Gian. Sige, kami na magkasama ni Jamie. So, mukhang tayo na ang magkasama. Saan kaya natin pwedeng mahanap yung mga clues? I don't know. Let's try sa third floor, tara. Tara! Talasan nyo ang mga mata nyo. Oy, wait! There's a white envelope! OMG, ito yung clue! Hi, kanina pa tayo lakad ng lakad pero wala naman tayong makitang clue. Tara, tingnan natin sa library. Ito yung clue. Tara, punta tayo sa lobby. Baka nandun. Tara, baka nandito. Magsimula na tayo mag-ikot dito. Ito yung envelope, po. Oh. Yan nga. Tapos ayun pa. Tara, i-chat mo na sila na may nakita na tayong dalawa. Okay. There is only one missing clue. Maybe it's in the laboratory? Maybe. Tara, puntahan natin. Ayun o. No? I will get the envelope. Diyan na lang kayo. Let's go back guys and solve it. Check if both terms can be written with the same base. Rewrite the term on the right side with the same base of the term on the left side. Apply the laws of exponents. Combine like terms. Solve for x. Substitute the value of x into the simplified equation. Apply 
multiply the loss of exponents and simplify the results. For the solution, first step, check if they have the same base since the bases of the terms are not the same. Second step, rewrite the 49 as 7 squared. Third step, simplify the exponent. Fourth step, Combine like terms, solve for x. And last step, divide both sides by 2. For the checking, first step, substitute the final answer of 0 to the x. Second step, since the both bases are the same, let's solve the exponent. And last, the result of the both sides is equal to each other. Apply the law of exponent visible in the given equation. Rewrite and change the different bases to make all bases the same. Exponents, multiply and distribute each term in the parentheses. On the left side of the equal sign, use the law of exponents. Then simplify and combine related terms. After solving, you are left with an exponential equation by which it consists of the same bases. Interchange, compute, and simplify the said exponential equation and x should equal to negative 1 over 6 or negative 0 0.16666666667 Checking Using the simplified equation for checking, substitute the final answer or value of x to the equation. Since both bases are the same, compute and simplify the exponents. From this equation, we can conclude that x equals 1 over 6 or negative 0.16666666667 is true. Okay, yes, na solve na natin. Kapagod talaga. Wait, sino muna nagpadala nitong letter sa atin? Hi, it's me. I'm the one who left the envelope there. I expected that you could solve that at tama ako ng hinala, hindi niyo ako binigo. Congratulations, SST members. You are so smart. Do you know why I solved it for you? Why po, ma'am? The exponential equation is important because we may come across the use of exponential equations when we are solving the problems of algebra, compound interest, exponential growth, exponential decay, etc. That can help you solve the problem. Ganun pala yun? Thank you ma'am, may natutunan na naman po ulit kami. Sige na, umuwi na kayo at magpahinga. Bye!